بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'd like to introduce Professor Dr. Omar Itani. Omar Itani. Consultant of Anesthesia in Medical Beirut Center. His topic is uh, high spinal during spinal anesthesia, which is already uh, my, of my special concern as I work for many years as uh, an uh, obstetric anesthesiologist. So I am very happy. I'm very proud to introduce you, sir. Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you, Dr. Samir Ansari, for the, for the great uh, uh, effort of this uh, course online. Thank you, Dr. Saad. I would like to share with you a case report of uh, high spinal anesthesia during C-section that happened with me last month. I had uh, a patient of 36 years old, uh, secondary uh, C-section, repeat C-section. Uh, at, uh, that was uh, scheduled as elective C-section. Patient was uh, 107 kilo, uh, high 166. Uh, that's uh, a lot, that gives her a BMI of 39. Uh, we prepared the operating room and uh, we, put the, we, we put the monitor as a standard uh, recommended by ASA. We give the patient ringer lactate filling before getting to the OR. Then I put the patient on sitting position and I have done a spinal anesthesia using 10 can 27 gauge on L4, L5 sing, uh, single prick was easy and smooth. Uh, I have injected a mixture of 2.3 milliliter uh, con uh, containing uh, 10 milligram of marcaine, bisopacaine, 0.5 uh, heavy, uh, which means two milliliter and 100 microgram uh, of uh, Morphine, 0 0.1 milliliter, and 10 uh, microgram of uh, fentanyl, 0 0.2 milliliter, total of 2.3 milliliter. Uh, I, did, I tested my level. It was uh, on the nipple level, uh, which means T4, which is uh, adequate for C-section, and I allowed the surgeon to start uh, the, the surgery. Five minutes later, I had a severe bradycardia uh, and uh, followed by uh, severe hypotension that uh, needed to, to, uh, to use vaso vasoactive drugs. I started to put, uh, to, to increase the, the oxygen uh, flow to 10 liter. I repositioned the OR table uh, to left self table. I, I opened the IV, the IV to fill the patient. And then I, 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 give, I gave ephedrine 12 milligram as bolus followed by three boluses of uh, epinephrine of 100 micra. Uh, at uh, one minute interval, ask, uh, I asked the surgeon to, to hurry up and extract the baby. Uh, so, and I, I measured the blood pressure uh, as a stat mode continuous uh, because we have non-average blood pressure at this time. Uh, after stabilization of the patient, uh, the patient were, were announced to me that she has a paresthesia of bilateral upper limb. I put the patient head up position, uh, reverse trend the Lambert, and we closed monitoring hemodynamic and respiration. I asked my assistants to, uh, to, to, to recheck medication and intubation set for, uh, for uh, possibility of intubation. And I asked an extra hand uh, from, from my colleague to come to the, to the C-section room, uh, just, we need, just uh, if we need uh, an intubation or a uh, difficulty in intubation. Uh, at the end, surgery has been done uh, without any problem. Patient didn't develop any respiratory failure. Uh, spinal level was resolved smoothly without any problem uh, for the mom, neither for the mom nor for the, for the baby. Uh, I followed the patient all the days and the next day I was visiting this patient to explain to her what's happened. Uh, and this, uh, I was surprised that uh, she mentioned to me that this is the second time that's happened the same thing. Last uh, C-section she had, uh, I suppose that she had a full spinal because uh, she, she, she didn't remember what's happening, but she know that he was asleep, uh, he, she was sleepy and uh, the anesthesiologist uh, put her uh, noctive off. I advised her to, to consult a neurologist to explore her back because it might be explained uh, from uh, uh, from uh, any, any, any cause. And I, ex I advised her to inform her anesthesiologist if the next time she needs uh, any, uh, any spinal anesthesia. 
I, uh, so what's the definition of high spinal? High spinal when uh, local anesthesia is spread uh, above the core, so above the, the, the nipple, uh, and the effect is depending on the level of, uh, of nerve involved. If total anesthesia, then uh, this when, antra, uh, when local anesthetic are spread in uh, intracranial, uh, and uh, it uh, will finish by, by uh, an, uh, a loss of consciousness. Uh, we know that uh, I, I reviewed the, the World Federation anesthesia recommendation and uh, the clinical progression of, uh, of the high level spinal, it will start when the level is T4, uh, T1 to T4, it will be a cardiac sympathetic fiber block, which happened with me, a severe bradycardia followed by, by hypotension. When it's more high, this is T6 to T8, so I, we will have a hand and arm uh, sign that's paresthesia on the, on the upper limb, and then we started to have a, a failure of the accessory respiratory muscle. If, there, if it is more higher, T3 to T5, it, we will have a problem with diaphragmatic ventilation and then a shoulder, shoulder weakness. Uh, the shoulder weakness. So then the higher level is uh, intra, intracranial spread, uh, which means a slurred speech of the patients and sedation and then loss of consciousness. I have reviewed many, uh, many literature to see what's happened. Uh, honestly, I didn't, uh, the result that I found is very controversial. I have seen some studies that, uh, that uh, compare, uh, like this study comparing two, two, two group of, of, fish, of obese patients, less than 32 BMI and more than 40, uh, 40 BMI. They didn't find any difference on uh, any difference on level of anesthesia, and they didn't recommend to change our uh, our behavior for obese patients. Other uh, other studies uh, they they reviewed like this one. They reviewed five uh, almost five thousand patients, and uh, then they they find that the risk of high spinal was significantly different according to BMI, and uh, at the end the recommendation was. Uh, at the standard spinal dose hyperbaric bipivacaine used in our practice, there were greater odds high blocks in those, uh, in those patients with BMI more than 50. So attention, attention, uh, obese patient and, uh, and, uh, uh, and the pregnant, uh, pregnant obese patient, you need, to, you need to, uh, to, to be prepared for high spinal. Uh, the algorithm of management recommended by the World Federation of Anesthesia is uh, started by recognition of the, of the, of the clinical sign, uh, by uh, looking for tingling of the arm, shoulder weakness, difficulty of breathing, slurred speech, sedation, and uh, demonstrable high block. This is a progressive sign, so, so we need to catch early the, the, early the, the first signs to, to, manage, uh, to manage rapidly and, uh, and, effect, uh, and with effectiveness. Uh, the first uh, recommendation is to call for help, whether for obstetrician, anesthesiologist colleague, and uh, to, to recheck uh, your, uh, your res resuscitation equipment and to, uh, to be sure that uh, this uh, equipment are ready. And then after that, uh, the recommendation is to give 100% oxygen BMR, stop epidural if it's an epidural step, consider placing uh, the, the woman in head up position, reverse trend de Lambourg. Briefly explain situation to the relative and ask a member of staff, not your assistant, because you need him if you if you want to do uh, to do an, an urgent uh, intubation to escort the relative outside of the room. Then after, I, I we need to assess the patient, the airway, breathing, circulation, and consider other diagnoses than uh, other than high spinal, such as subarachnoid hemorrhage, eclampsia, or cerebral malaria. Now, if you if your him if the patient hemodynamic is stable and the airway is uh, is not compromised, so there's no problem it's, uh, in the respiration. It's just close observation. You don't have to do anything. Just observe. observe. In case of circulatory circulatory uh, compromise, uh, we need to to lift tilt the patient and check uh, check the IV. Uh, the bradycardia we we need to uh, to give uh, atropine boluses of uh, half milligram. And the hypotension, uh, we need to, to fill the patient, uh, uh, use vasopressor as ephedrine, phenylephrine, metaraninol. And if it is not responding, uh, we, we need to go to epinephrine small doses, uh, 100 to 50 to 100 micrograms. The ventilation, uh, if you have a compromised ventilation, we need to do a rapid sequence uh, uh, 
uh, induction with cricoid pressure. We need to ensure that uh, to, to, to knock off the patient because even she is unconscious, she might be aware about what's happening. Maintain the, we need to maintain sedation and uh, ventilate uh, until the block warm off. Now, uh, we need to be sure that uh, you, you need to be aware that, uh, that this patient might have a, a difficult intubation. So we need to go to the drill of difficult intubation knowing that this patient will not recover a spontaneous ventilation uh, as soon as usual because uh, she, she is a, a high spinal. At the end, we need to, uh, we need to arrange with, the, with obstetrician to, to discuss that the baby, the baby status and if we need to go uh, an, an urgent C-section or what, what, we, what we have to do with, uh, with this patient. Take home message, early recognition of high spinal is crucial and allow us to appropriate management before either the mother and baby is harmed. With careful monitoring and ascending blows can be detected before it has risen to a level causing significant cardiovascular or respiratory compromise. High regional block requiring intubation are rare, but the volume of obstetric, obstetric procedure performed under regional anesthesia is very is high. So uh, risk is high. High spinal and obese parturient is not a rare event with normal dose always. Be ready for proper management. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Omar. Thank you, Dr. Omar. We have a question, please. Yeah. Is it allowed, Dr. Saad? Dr. Saad? Yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Dr. Omar, please, someone ask you about uh, why you add both morphine and fent intrathecal in one patient. Why two our... narcotics? Uh, this is our protocol of pain management, post-operative pain management. We, we give morphine for uh, preservative-free morphine, of course, for all C-section. Uh, it allows us a 24-hour pain-free. And fentanyl, uh, that's just to, to prolong the, the effect of uh, spinal, that's it. Uh, really, I am, this is my first time to know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I also uh, add that uh, uh, every overdistended uh, uterus females, multiple pregnancy, uh, polyhydramnias, uh, 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 adding it to the obese patient in your case report, all of these are vulnerable to uh, spine hypertension and the high spread of local anesthetic uh, during intrathecal injection. 